Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door. And I came to just do a little share with you and show you um, my latest custom order. Um, my friend Trina, um, she's on YouTube too, but I don't think she does videos. Um, she just, she likes to watch the videos. And um, so anyways, she had asked me to make her a Christmas journal. And so we talked about it and got all the specifics. And so this is the finished project. And I'm going to talk to her and ask her if she wants me to go ahead and post the video. Or if she wants me to wait for her to get it first. Because, you know, I, I initially had said that I wanted her to get to see it first. Um, so that's totally up to her, however she wants to do it. And the reason I say that is because she may want to see the video before she gets the book so anyways so i just thought i'd share it with you so i just i did a really simple um cover um but she said she loves the christmas plaid and stuff so i wanted that to be kind of a focal point on the book so i did this really pretty plaid with gold stripes in it and then i just sewed this picture um of the santa to a piece of muslin and the fringe the edges and inked it up a little bit and then it's got some cheesecloth and some music paper and some parchment paper under there so and then I put a little um, crochet on the side she said she doesn't like lace so but she does like the crochet so I put some of that in there and then on the oh, I will also put a little charm with her initial on it so it can be a little personalized I did burlap on the spine, and then I put a ribbon um, down the middle just to um, give her a little more plaid and give it a little, you know, extra pizzazz. And then she said she wanted lots and lots and lots of trinkets and bells. And so I put um, a tassel on the side, or the binding, and it has lots of, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see a little better. It has little beads. And twine. Oops, that one's going to come off. I'm going to have to tie another knot in that. Um, and then um, I did make it to where this will come off. So let me see if I can take it off. Because I didn't want it to be bulky for her while she's trying to journal in it. So I made it removable. So this will be a little easier for you to see it. Um, whoops. Kind of got a little close to the camera there. Sorry, guys. So I put her a little charm on there. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry, I'm still battling these stinking allergies. And then um, put a couple of little snow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not doing so good at this video in this morning. A couple of little snowflakes charms on there. And then some wooden beads. And lots of ribbons. Um... A little bit of crochet uh, ribbon. So there's um, the other snowflake. Well, there's one and there's the other one. So anyways, got her some cute little charms on there. And then at the top, I put her some beads. Let me see if I can. And a little bead topper. So I love how the charm turned, uh, the tassel turned out. I thought it was super cute. So anyway, I'm going to leave that off um, while we go through the book. Okay, so let me just zoom back out real quick. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you dizzy. All right, so I'm going to let you see the edge of the book because it is stuffed with lots of um, fabrics. And then on the fabrics, I put um, charms, lots of charms. Um, there's um, Some of them are on safety pins, charms and beads. Some of them are on the little bow pins. And... Um, and then I have a couple that have um, the um, chain with some little bells, little teeny tiny bells. So there's a charm. These are super cute. Um, they were actually um, wine glass markers, and but it was like a whole set. Let me see if I can find. Let me see. Well, it'll probably be better. I just tied, um, I did the closure with a ribbon tie 
and um, on the back I did um, sweet sweet she sent me some papers and stuff that she wanted used in the book and it was so funny because I had already bought a couple of pieces of this paper and then she sent me some too so I had plenty of this to play with and um, so I put some use that for the back of the book I'm going to untie this so I can find these other charms so that you can see them because they're like a set and they make his outfit let me see if I can find okay so there's the shirt Santa's shirt there's his pants and his boots are down here somewhere aha and there's his boots so I just thought those were so stinking cute. And actually, I think he has a hat up here somewhere too. We'll find it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So you got the hat, the shirt, the pants, and the boots. So I just thought that was so cute. So we'll just go on inside and I'll show you each of the little charms hanging off of the pages. Lots of the pages have um, fabric sewn on two of them. There's lots of sewing in this book. Um, and the spine is a little stiff, Trina, until you start using it, it will, it'll loosen up as you use it, so, all right, so on the front, I just did uh, a little pocket, and it's a double pocket, so there is um, just a little journal tag here, and then behind the pocket, she said she wanted some of my scrappy tags, so I made her some scrappy tags, and then um, hanging from the tag, I did a little um, chain with a, um, oh, I guess I could, I'm looking at it instead of the camera, I'm sorry. <sighs> a little button, a little candy button, so thought that was super cute. So Trina, you have lots and lots of dangles and buttons and stuff in here. All right, so here we go. Got, um, she sent me a page that had all the days of, you know, 1 through 25 of December, and so, um, I added those. I cut them all up and added them in the book. And then there's just a couple of little tags. This one's got a little plaid um, the, uh, topper sewn on. Got some some of that music paper from my one of my Norman Rockwell books, my Norman Rockwell Christmas book. And then um, this is just a little um, a paper clip that I uh, glued a button on top of. And it holds, this is just an extra sheet of paper with um, extra journaling room. And I forgot about that, Trina, but you can cover that up with, you know, you can write over it or cover it up with a little pocket. Or if you want me to do it, I'll do it for you as well. Just let me know. Let's scoot this over just a little bit. I'm thinking I might need to raise my camera because this book is so big. <laughs> so, all right. So here's a... A jingle bell and a little charm on a bulb pen and it says hope hopefully y'all can see that lots of stamping in the book and then I used um, I got I think she sent me two sticker sheets and I used every sticker in both of the sticker sheets so this book is very decorated here's a little bag and I just got her a little scripture in there and then a little journaling card or she can use it to put a picture on a couple of little tabs I didn't put a whole lot of tabs in there, but I did put a couple of them. Craft paper. There's one of the little stickers. There's another one of the little stickers. As you can see, lots of stickers in here. And then here's the two for the second day of Christmas. Um, and then I just put her some little um, scraps, strips of paper so that she can use them throughout the book to decorate. Um, this is a little pocket I just decorated with some fabric and, and another little button. And it's just got a couple of little journaling tags in there or journaling cards. I did some fabric um, tucks as well on some of the pages. This is a um, pocket made out of a sewing pattern. And then I just put a little tag in there with a plaid topper on the top. Super cute. I love this one. And it just slides right down in there. And the ruffle kind of holds it out the top. Then I just put a little decoration here. And made a little pocket out of it. So there's a little tag that slides out right there. And then on the back side, it's a pocket as well. It comes from underneath. 
So there's just a little journaling card there with um, the black and red checks. Not checks. I don't know what that's called. Then I did some um, of my quilted pages. I had made some last Christmas. So these were kind of left over from what I had made. And um, I was calling them quilted pages. But now I guess everybody's calling them Franken paper. So I'll probably still call them my quilted pages because that's how I started. Here's a fabric flip. And it's just got some crochet ribbon across the top. This is, <laughs> I love him, this is from my Norman Rockwell fabric, and so I just made a little pocket out of it. So it has a pocket at the top, and I just put a little button and some twine um, to top that journal tag on, and then a little pocket to the side with another little journaling card or Project Life card. I think it's just a journaling card. Just a little um, added decoration. I think this is from Graphic 45. She sent me this as well. Here is another little charm. Let's see if you can see that. Another little charm and a bell. Both of those are on safety pins. I love the way um, it looks with the safety pins. I just think that's super cute. Oh, and there's the, the little Santa hat charm as well. So, again... You got lots of charms and dangles, Trina. This is um, inspired by Kristen over at Rock Paper Treasures. She makes these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fabric pockets. And so I wanted some in the Christmas book. And I'm sure nobody's making Christmas stuff right now. So I just went ahead and made my own. And I put a couple of the little buttons that she sent me. Um added those here and did some stamping on a little piece of muslin got her some scriptures there and then this is just a pocket that I made out of a playing card put her a little tag this is graphic 45 paper as well and it's got a little sticker on it there is the third day of Christmas with some more scraps for her to play with another um, journaling tag and I made a little pocket on the back with a cute little just a little tag to tuck in there. And then another journaling card for her. <coughs> Sorry guys. Still battling these stinking allergies and I'm losing my voice. So this is just a little clip. Um, a Tim Holtz binder clip. And I used um, chain. Like jewelry chain. Um, that I had back from my jewelry and bead making days. And put some added some little teeny tiny jingle bells. I don't know if y'all can see those. Let me see if I can hold it up. Little teeny tiny jingle bells. So I just put those on there for a little added decoration and to give her another dangle. And then this holds um, this pretty little um, card. And then I just put her a journaling card in there. Lots of the pages have stamping on them as well. So I went kind of a little crazy with all my Christmas stamps. So have some stamping there. I'm going to try to hurry now because if I don't, this video is going to be forever long. So the center signatures, I just tied some of the little buttons um, onto the, the strings hanging down. This is just a fabric pocket. And I put her, this page I loved. She sent it to me, but it was kind of way too big for the book. So I had to cut it up. And I just made like a, a little journaling card out of it for her. And this was kind of at the top. There was more to it. So it was kind of at the top. But I loved that too. So I just cut it off and added it into the book as well. And there's a little journaling tag here from Graphic 45. With a little button at the top. And then sticker on the back. And then these are some clipped out pages from one of those Christmas books. Um, making Memories. They have some really cute ideas listed in these books, so I like adding those pages to, to Christmas books. I just made a little collage at the top of the page there, and there's another tab. Some stamping. There's just a collage tuck with a banner, and I just put her a little, um, I really like that. That's super cute. So, a little journaling card there. Uh-oh, 
I paper clipped that together. <laughs> this, I just made a little card um, or a pocket out of book page. This is old book page, and behind it was old book page too, but it was the slicker book page. So I just glued this book page to it, put some of my paper ribbon, put her a few little um, scraps of paper here for her to play with in the book, and then just did a little collage down here to decorate the pocket. I hope you guys can see this okay. And then I just put her some coffee dyed paper in there for journaling. There's the number four for the fourth day of Christmas. And then I put her a little um, graphic 45 tag in there and tied a couple of little of those tiny jingle bells on. Some more stamping. And then there's another jingle bell there and Santa's shirt. Here is a Patricia pocket that I made out of an old book page. And just add a little paper ribbon. Got a tiny little tag there. These were some of those vintage Christmas tags that I had found at the Habitat for Humanity. So I just cut her some and put them in there so that she could have them for her use. And then a little Bible scripture. Sorry about that. My phone died, I guess. And so I'm sitting here talking, 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 and I'm not recording. <laughs> So anyway, the next page, this is just a pocket, and it's, um, this is Graphic 45. Trina sent this to me as well, and this I printed off of Pinterest. Love, love, love this image. I'm going to close my window because I think the lighting will be better, so you can see the colors better. But I just um, uh, sewed it onto some coffee dyed paper and some old book page. I don't know if you can see that behind. So I just sewed it on as a little pocket. I didn't put anything in the pocket because the book started filling up really quickly and I didn't want it to be too bulky. So she can put something in there if she wants to. And then here on the side is another image from Pinterest that I printed out. Isn't she beautiful? I love her. So it's just printed on coffee dyed paper so she can use it to decorate a page with or make another pocket or journal on or however she sees fit. There's some more stickers. There's the other side of my quilted paper. Here is um, the other side of the pattern paper pocket with a sticker and a journal card here. And then there's um, uh, a collage here. And then I put a journaling card in here with a little tab on it to make it easier to pull in and out. This is another image I printed from Pinterest. And I just made her a little pocket out of it. Love these. She sent me these, and I would like to find out where she got them from because they are super cute. So, I just put that in the little pocket there. And then, this just goes back into the top. More stickers. There's the fifth day of Christmas. Here's another image that I printed off of Pinterest just onto coffee dyed paper. Love him. Love me some Santa Claus. I still believe, guys. Okay, and then I just put her a little envelope here uh, and paper clipped it on so she can move it around in the book. And it's just got a little extra paper in there for journaling or she can cut it up and use it to decorate in the book or whatever. Craft paper and I put some um, little plaid sticker banners that were on that sticker sheet. Love them. So put one at the bottom and one at the top on this side. Here, I made her a shaker card. I made her several shaker cards for this book. Love those. And then, look at this. I printed this off Pinterest, too. Is she not the prettiest little thing ever? Love her. And again, it's just printed on coffee dyed paper. This is, too, from Pinterest. So, I just put a couple of those in there. She can put a picture in here. Um, journal on these or however she wants to use those. But And then, I just attached it with some paper clips that have twine and ribbon on them oops well okay that's right it's just thicker got her a little um a little scripture here and then there's the six and this is just um from graphic 45 and she's sweet with her little i can't tell if that's a cat or a dog i think it's a dog here is a christmas bag and i just got her a couple of little journaling cards in there sticker here's some more fabric sewn down the page this she sent me cute little button love it she sent me a whole set of like christmas cookie cooking um buttons so uh, and there's a bell and then here is 
um, a little angel on a bulb pen. I hope you can see that. Super cute. So I put her lots of charms in here. I love him. He's so cool. There's some scripture for her, and I love this paper. Super cute paper. She sent me that as well. The other side of that Norman Rockwell Christmas music. There's the number seven. And then aren't they sweet? They're probably pretending to be asleep. I printed this off Pinterest too. Some more stamping. That's the end of the first signature. This book has three signatures. And I believe, I believe if I remember my count correctly, it's 300 pages. So she's got lots of room to journal and play. Put her a little pocket there with just a little Christmas tag. And then a journaling card. Here's a little pocket that I use some of that tinsel that my best friend sent me. There's the eighth day of Christmas. And here's another image printed from Pinterest just on copy dye paper. It's a little hard to get stuff in and out of this pocket with the tinsel on it because it tends to want to catch on it. Here's another little pocket that I made with just a little collage and some fabric and some of the stickers. Journaling card and a scripture with some plaid ribbon. I love this paper. It's so cute. There's the nine, and I didn't tuck anything in there because, like I say, it started um, getting real full. So, But you can see you can tuck something up in there. A little Christmas bag with a couple of journaling cards. There's Santa and his reindeer. Stamping. Love this. Absolutely love this. This is so adorable. Here's some more of my quilted paper with an envelope. I don't think I put anything in this envelope. Actually, I think the glue came apart on that. So I'll fix that, Trina, no problem. Love this little card too. And then the little thing here from Graphic 45 that says Happy Holidays. There's the 10th day of Christmas. And I just got a little journal card tucked in there. Little pocket with another journaling card here. Love this. I love this little house. Some more Norman Rockwell Christmas music. Love this image. And then here is um, the sugar jar from that cooking um, button pack that she sent me. There's a little Christmas tree. And then here's another um, little um, snowflake charm. She sent me those as well. Then here is a plaid pocket with just a little um, collage on it. There's another one of my little scrappy tags. And then I put her a scripture in there as well. There's the 11th day of Christmas. Printed this off Pinterest as well. Just on copy dyed paper. And I love the little um, plaid reindeer. He's super cool. There's Santa, some stamping. This came off the sticker sheet too. Love the plaids. Music paper. And then I put her a little Christmas recipe in there. There's the 12th day of Christmas. Made a little pocket, and the pocket continues over to this side. And I put her um, a napkin, one of my poinsettia napkins, in there so that she can do some decoupaging and play with that. Here's another Norman Rockwell pocket, and it's just a pocket behind. And y'all, this is so cute. Printed this off Pinterest too. And it talks about the 31 busy days of Christmas or of December. <laughs> Y'all should go through and read this. I got it on Pinterest, so go to Pinterest and check it out because it's quite comical how busy they were back then to make sure they were socially perfect. Love this paper. Cute little sticker. I just put her a little heart sticker on this coffee dyed doily. And I love this paper. I got it from Hobby Lobby because it's some of my favorite. Got her a little scripture there. Here is a little button that says Joy, and it's just attached to it on a, um, a bulb pin. And then there's Santa's pants. Love her. Some stamping. There's the 13th day of Christmas. Another printable from um, Pinterest. Aren't they sweet? Love them. Very vintage. She said she wanted her book to be very vintage. So there is um, my fabric tuck for this signature. There's some more of my quilted paper. And I quilted it on both sides, so I wanted that to be the center of the signature. And she sent me these little buttons um, that were the bulb Christmas lights, so I tied them to the ends of that signature. Here is one of my Tracy Fox um, envelopes. 
So, and I used my wax seal, got this from Pinterest as well. Clipped it on with another one of those little clips with the chain. And then inside, I put her some extras of that Santa paper. So she can cut these up and use it to decorate more throughout the book. Or decorate in another book, however she wants to use them. I love making these. I've had so much fun making these. And then this is a little pocket and it has a little tag that comes out. 25. That came from the sticker sheet. And then here's Santa's boots and another jingle bell on a safety pin. So you'll have lots of noise with this book, Trina. <laughs> here's another one of Christi Kristen's fabric pockets that I did. And then a graphic 45, just a little tag. And I put some sweet little ribbon at the top. I actually found that at Hobby Lobby last week. <laughs> Just got a little journaling card here. Um, and on a little paper clip that I made with this snowman. And then on the back side of it is the sweetest little stocking. And then I just tucked in here another little shaker card. And then this sweet little image printed from Pinterest as well. Super cute. I love these shaker cards. There's the 15th day of Christmas with another little cart that I printed from Pinterest. And here's another one of my collage pockets. Um, I learned how to do these initially from Gail and then um, I think her name is Jessica Rapp, two silver oranges. So, and then Care Heart. Those are the three that I've seen doing these. There's another little image that I printed from Pinterest, and she's super cute. And then some more of those Christmas idea ideas. Um, I'll put two little pages in there. There's another fabric, fabric flip with some crochet ribbon and the fabric. 16th day of Christmas, and I love them. Printed that one from Pinterest, too, and I just think they're super cool and super vintage. So, perfect, perfect for this book. Here is a Rita flip, and I just made it out of the plaid paper and put, um, this is from, I think this is from the Graphic 45 paper. And then in the pocket, I just have her um, an envelope that she can use for whatever she wants to use it for. And then a tag from the Graphic 45 paper. And then a scripture, and I love this scripture. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Mark 5.34. Love that. Cute little reindeer sticker. And then the Christmas tree on the back. Some more stamping. And then here is another one of the snowflake charms. And then the little spoon from the cooking um, button set. And then another jingle bell. The other side of that music. There's another scripture for her. And then this is a little pocket. This is actually the back of my quilted paper. And I actually sewed um, coffee dyed parchment paper to this one. So I made her a little pocket here. Put her this image that's printed from Pinterest as well on coffee dyed paper. And then this is um, just like a little, it's just a decoration with ribbon. Another sticker from the set. There's the other side of the bag. There's the 17th day of Christmas. And isn't she lovely? She's from Pinterest too. Love her. There's another little pocket made with the collage. And another print from Pinterest. Love this paper. Here is another Rita flip. And this I actually cut from a magazine. But I just thought it was so cute, a little, um, like a dollhouse Christmas scene. So I cut that from um, the magazine and then just backed it on coffee dyed paper and sewed it on. That's the end of the middle signature. And then we're at the last signature. Here's that paper that she sent me. Got a little jingle bell on there. Love this. And this paper feels so cool. Then I made her another one of those little paper clips with the buttons at the top. This is printed from Pinterest. And then there is the third shaker card for her. And then this is printed from Pinterest as well. And then that's a um, little candy cane on the back side of that paper clip. 
more Norman Rockwell Christmas music. All right, 10th day of Christmas. And then I made her a little tag from the Graphic 45 paper, topped it with some crochet ribbon and the sweet little reindeer that she sent me. So, cute little journaling tag. Here's another collage pocket, and I just tucked a little um, journal card in there. I love these papers. This is um, almost a full page pocket, and then I tucked her a little journal card. Love that. That came from that same paper that she sent me. And then this I found on Pinterest. Look, how, And I shrunk it down a little bit, but how cool is that? Love it. It's like an old catalog advertisement. So I love that. And then I love this little reindeer with the boots. Super cute. There's Santa. There's the 19th day of Christmas and some more from that set that she sent me that I just absolutely love. Season's greetings. Coffee dyed paper. There's another bag with a journal card. Some more stamping. Here is um, some more charms. Uh, there's a little angel charm there. And a jingle bell. And then a Santa button. So he's super cute. Love this paper. I got it from Hobby Lobby too. And then this is a Norman Rockwell page that I just printed off for and put it on coffee dyed paper so she could have some extra journaling space. Tucked it down in this little old book page pocket. And then it has a double pocket. So here's another one of those little cards that she sent me. And then I just decorated it with some of that pretty Christmas ribbon. Some stamping and stickers. There's some more of my quilted paper. Another envelope, which is some, um, in this envelope, I just put her some extra pieces of the paper that I used in this book so she could use it to decorate with or whatever. 20th day of Christmas says only five more days. Little journaling card. And then here is another jingle bell. And then a super cute little candy sucker button on there. And then this, I don't know if you can see it real good, but it's like a cookie cutter, a gingerbread cookie cutter. Super cute. Love that. Here is another one of those Kristen inspired fabric pockets. And I put her another um, one of those Norman Rockwell pages from my book. And he, I love him. I think he's so funny. So it's just, blunt, it's just um, on coffee dyed paper so she can journal. And she can actually journal, you know, on the front with a picture too. Love this paper. I love the colors in this paper. A little pocket here. Printed that from Pinterest. Super sweet image. Holly Jolly from the sticker sheet. And then here's the center of that signature with just a couple of little, it's got a Christmas tree and a gingerman button, little tiny buttons that she sent me. And there's just an envelope. And inside this envelope, I put her some more of those vintage Christmas labels that I had found at the Habitat for Humanity store. Well, I'm going back in there. So I just tuck that down in there, and I love this reindeer. I love, love, love this reindeer. He's so pretty. Or she, whichever it is. Then there's the 22nd day Christmas, and there's another printable from Pinterest. I just tuck that in there. Another fabric tuck. Santa, Santa stop here with some stamping, another scripture, Santa sticker, and then on this one I put a little stocking button, another jingle bell, and there's another one of those little snowflake charms on a bulb pin. Another scripture for her, there's another one, and then here's another envelope. Um, and this is on the back of my quilted paper as well. And I backed it with the um, coffee dyed parchment paper. And on the back of this, or inside the envelope, I just put her a little journaling card. But then I put this. This is the only sticker that I didn't use in the book. And I just cut it off of the sticker sheet because I want her to be able to use it if she wants to use it as like a frame around a picture. So that's why I put that in there for her. Just clip that on. And there is um, a little candy cane button 
dangle and another little just a little red button I love the swirls in that and another jingle bell there's a, a bag with um, another one of those cool little journaling cards that she sent me almost finished guys I know this is a long video I'm sorry but this is a super big book there's the 23rd day of Christmas and another printable off of Pinterest. Aren't they sweet? Love them. I mean, because that's what it's all about is some babies. Love this. I don't know why, but I just love this. And then there, here's um, just a fabric pocket. It's not the collage pocket like Kristen does. And then this is an int um, image I printed from Pinterest. So I just sewed it on to... Um, a tag so she can journal on the back I didn't make that a pocket and then I found this stamp on sale for like a dollar 75 I was so excited 24th day of Christmas and then it's just got a little graphic 45 tag in there and a scripture love this plaid paper and I know Trina will too and then there's the other fabric flip with the crochet so it just flips up for journaling underneath Love this paper. Got it at Hobby Lobby, too. And then there's the 25th day of Christmas with a sweet little girl from Graphic 45. Isn't she adorable? So just tucked her up in there with some stickers. And that is the end of the book, guys. So it is big. Has a little bit of alligator mouth. So, Trina, if you want to, you know, take some stuff out of it, you can. But I really just wanted to stuff this full for you because you deserve it. Every single bit of it. So, anyways, that is my Christmas book made for my sweet, precious friend, Trina. And um, if you guys hit uh, like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Leave me comments. And um, I really appreciate you guys for watching. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.